What's good? So we're back here at Citizen Church painting a wall for Christmas. This is something we've done a number of times now and I made videos on, on those walls as well. And I'll throw those down in the description if you wanna check them out. But each year they kind of have a theme for the service and for the whole kind of experience. And uh, the theme of this year was a train station. This service was kind of one of the stops along the station. And my job was to set the scene, just make this place feel as much like a train station as possible. Started off the process of making the station by just doing a bunch of research, looking at images, Pinterest, Google. Settled on this image and uh, really liked it. Sent it over. Um, the only issue with the image at, at the beginning was the fact that the train that they wanted to build, initially they wanted the train to come straight out of the wall. So they had always had the idea of trying to incorporate the mural with this physical train, but they wanted the train to come straight through. And um, I had the idea and the thought to make the train come out diagonally. I just thought with the pictures being taken, it would give you more of like that three quarter port profile, give you like more surface area for you to actually see the train behind the people taking the photo and it would help with the image. So this image that I found has a one point perspective and the train, as you can see, comes out a little less than 45 degree angle. That's what I kind of proposed, asked if it was possible to do and they said yes, so. The image is definitely very warm. Uh, I was pretty happy with, with the image. I definitely liked the lens flare and the light coming through the windows. So, so we got started. Normal workflow started back to front, starting with the white sky in the back and then the architecture, just slowly building the layers up until we got to the foreground. The palette, again, very warm. So like every shade of brown, a lot of reds, a lot of oranges, some yellows. Um, weirdly enough, there's a lot of green that I saw. It's not a palette that I normally use, so it was definitely a learning process. Learned a lot about this range of colors and just mixing them and playing around with them and trying to give off that, that sense of light. Finally sitting by the fire, surrounded by the Christmas lights. Cause someone passed the apple cider. This moment feels so right. I don't ever wanna leave from my friends and family. Love is blowing through the breeze. Feels so good, I can't believe. I'm just trying to be present in the moment. I can feel your presence here, yeah, I know it. Presence cool, but sure they'll make a point. Right here, right here by my side. Stay here for a lifetime. Blessings from my God, I know you're right here. Right here by my side Stay here for a lifetime Blessings from my God, I know Doing any sort of optical illusion type thing, you have to pick a place on the floor that's gonna be your reference point. So I did that and just started drawing like lead lines and drawing perspective lines, connecting the train with the train on the wall and just trying to make it look as seamless as possible. Got a good foundation, structural foundation as to where things were gonna go. And then we uh, just detailed it out using the same palette throughout. So the front car, I was using this like, very burnt orange, uh, like coffee brown. And then I kept that palette throughout the train, even though normally as you go back in an atmosphere, the further back you go, the more it's going to blend in with the, the atmosphere, with the environment. 
And the reason that I kept the, the colors the same is just to stay consistent. And then I could come back with the literal color of the environment, which was like this tannish gray. Um, it was called native gray, it's a 94 color. And I can just dust that on top of the palette that's already there. And it's going to push it back that much further and make it blend into the atmosphere and uh, give, it, give it some depth. So uh, that's what I did. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any footage of when the place was like crawling with people and everyone was there for the services. Um, I was actually like serving in a different capacity at the time, so I wasn't able to get any of that. Like snack some images of people and the photos that people took, and I actually took some photos of my parents as well. As far as the process goes, I think that's pretty much it. That lens flare action is something I'm definitely going to try to incorporate more in my work going forward. Just tightening that up just adds a cool element to the painting. If y'all have any questions or comments, please leave those down in the comments. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Share it with someone who you think might enjoy it. Back is always appreciated. Always trying to improve. Going into the new year, just full head of steam, excited, expectant, and grateful to be able to do this for a living. Hopefully we can continue to push forward. Oh, before we go, so I have some hoodies on my website available, but I'll drop the link to that down in the description as well. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. The fall before the climb. Oh no.